So let's take a look at using the host controls to improve the Netflix review application. In this version, we'll be using the named range, list object, and chart control host controls instead of the document object model, or rather in addition to the document object model. Okay, so in this version, we're going to replace the search for films using DOM with a version that actually creates a, a list object. So let's do that here. I'll... And let's comment this out. We don't need that right now. So what I've added here is we're going to create the same proxy to the Netflix factory. And we're going to go and get the films based on the search criteria and all that's the same. But instead of going through and row by row adding the data to the, da to the spreadsheet, we're going to do it through a list object. So what we see here is we're looking for a list object and we're going to go and we're going to create that list object by first going to the globals factory get VS2 object for this worksheet. Now what that is doing is when we are looking for the Visto versions of the interop objects, we have to go grab them from the factory. So if we look at globals, we use the globals to grab a reference to the current add-in, the factory, and the ribbons. This is a, uh, a global instantiation for us to grab this information. And so, for example, if we look at this add-in from any of the other objects, we can always grab a reference to this add-in. So from the ribbon, we could have grabbed it for this add-in. Or in this case, we're looking for the factory. And the factory allows us to either, we can create a direct add-in, or we can use these uh, methods at the bottom called get visto object and has visto object to not only determine whether or not a customized visto object is part of the um, worksheet, but to actually grab a reference between the interop version and the Visto version. So in this case, we grab the Visto version and I can grab either a list object or a worksheet. And from there, we can get an extended worksheet. So that's what I've done here. I have an extended worksheet. And from there, I'm going to grab the range of A1 to G5. It's just a range. It's a square range there where we are grabbing the same columns that I grabbed before and it's giving them five rows. But I could do it with one row or, or the like. From there, I'm going to off the extender worksheet, I'm going to grab the controls collection, and from the controls collection, I can add new Visto objects. So in this case, I can add a chart or a control or a list object or a named range. So in this case, I'm adding a new list object based on the range that I provided before, and I'm giving it the title of Netflix titles. Then here's where the, the simplicity of, of doing this is going to happen, is instead of me cycling over each row, I'm going to grab the list object and auto set the data bound column headers to true, which means I'm going to turn it into a fancy list. I'm going to set the data binding, giving it the data, passing in all the parameters that I need. And let's see what these parameters are. Obviously the data source, the second is the data member, which we're not using, and uh, properties of the object that I wish to put together. So let's take a look at this. And we'll run this. Oh, we need to do one more thing before we run this, is I need to go back to the ribbon. And instead of doing the search for Dom, I'm going to search for films this way. So we'll go back to the add-ins. We'll type in Peter. And there we go. It's automatically been bound to this in a fancy list object here. For example, in this table, we've automatically created the uh, header with the, which we can filter on. I've got the ID, the name, the rating, and such. At the bottom, we've automatically created a totals column, in which case we're totaling the average rating here. So there we go.